In this one, we're going to be taking a look at using some tuned drum sounds to create some interesting sort of alternatives to the way we've been doing it up to now. And we can use what we've got already. So I've got the the rhythm from the last tutorial, and I'm just going to mute some of the stuff just to leave the bottom end stuff going. And what we can do is just add in a simpler instrument. Just a blank simpler. And then we can search through our drum folders and find something with a bit of a tone to it. So that there should should do okay. And when we drop this into, into simpler and I play our keyboard. get some interesting sounds. So I'm just going to play it by try a couple of rhythms and then take a loop. So we've got some random rhythms in there, and I'll just quantize them, and then we can just go through and see if there are any good loops. And when you're doing this at home, spend a bit more time than I just have and sort of try and get things um, working a bit better. So we've got a cool wee rhythm there, and what we can do is on our drum rack, I'll just bring this sort of um, tone of our bottom end stuff down. So I'll just add a, an auto filter and just filter it out so it's not sort of conflicting with our new sound. And I'll copy that across to the other one. So there you go, it's just basically another way to create an interesting sound and we can add more effects onto that. Bit crushers sound good on sort of stuff with the tone to it. And the last thing we're gonna do is just look at the resonator plugin. And <clears throat> this is a pretty cool plugin. And there's a an actual preset that comes with Ableton called Berlin, and this just gives you a really techy sort of vibe. And if we add some delay on to that, a um, bit of ping pong delay. Oh. You can then sort of make uh, rhythms into sort of tuned instruments and sort of stabby sort of sounds. So that's that for that one. Um, in the next one, we're going to be looking at cutting up 
loops in recycle and exporting individual drum hits.